Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn the three wire method of effective diameter measurement. This is the most accurate method among all the three methods the one wire method, two wire method and three wire method of effective diameter. Already we have seen the best wires as derivation. We have already uh, derived the equation for two wire method. Okay, the effective diameter from two wire method. Now we are going to see the effective diameter measurement by three wire method okay so the basic construction is like this uh, this is your screw thread profile over this screw thread profile we have inserted three wires this is wire number one this is wire number two this is wire number three okay these three wires uh, two wire will be on one side one wire will be on another side over this wires we are going to measure the over wire diameter that is capital M what we have seen in the two wire derivation okay see uh, this is your say the effective diameter okay so effective diameter is somewhere here at the point of contact okay here somewhere else uh, it uh, this effective diameter is located okay and here it is your M now the if you are zooming in this part okay this is your small p the pitch this is your theta the thread angle this is your capital h the depth of thread okay we'll be using the depth of thread thread angle and the pitch for finding s yes. okay so now zooming into the main diamond uh, main diagram okay now this is your thread profile over this thread profile we have inserted this wire wire of diameter small d okay the radius will be small r okay now see here from this point to this point this is your distance p okay the distance between the two consecutive thread at the same point is your pitch okay so this is your pitch now this part at this center this pitch is divided into two part this is your actually pitch this is your p by two so half of pitch it, it is okay now if you consider this point at the point of effective diameter this distance will be your p by four okay we are uh, we won't be using this just i'm uh, ensuring that you are understanding this this is your half of the pitch line okay now see here uh, for the general construction we already know the theta is your thread angle so this half of thread angle we are considering this half of thread angle is theta by 2 if this angle is theta by 2 this angle is also theta by 2 okay say this angle is 90 degree so this angle is theta by 2 so this will become theta 90 minus theta by 2 okay again this angle is 90 degree so if this angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 minus theta by 2 so automatically this angle will become theta by 2 okay so this triangle we are using this triangle d e f and we are going to use the triangle a b d okay see here the nomenclature is like this the abbreviation we will be using is m m is the over wire diameter e is the effective diameter h is the height of thread theta is the angle of thread d is the small d is your diameter of wire small p is your pitch of thread in some books for three wire method they may be using capital p okay instead of uh, theta they will be using x as an angle okay and uh, instead of having small p as pitch which is a very known uh, abbreviation instead of using uh, this small p as symbol they will be using capital p okay so don't get confused that is the same okay we'll, uh, we'll, we are considering only pitch of thread now for uh, from this construction we will be getting first we will be considering the triangle ABD see here in the diagram the triangle AB and D okay in triangle ABD this 
angle is 90 degree we know from the geometric construction this point b is your contact point between a circle and the flank okay circle is nothing but your diameter of this wire okay this is your wire in a cylindrical shape so this is the tangent point so at the tangent point the angle is 90 degree okay so this angle a b d in triangle a b d the angle a b d is 90 degree the angle a d b this angle a d b is your half of thread angle that is theta by 2 so consider the sign of theta by 2 sign of theta by 2 will be a b divided by a d okay what is a b a b is nothing but your d by 2 and a d is this distance this vertical distance we are going to find it okay now see here a d is equal to a b multiplied by 1 upon sin theta by 2 this sin theta by 2 has come on this side so it is 1 upon sin theta by 2 now we know 1 upon sin theta by 2 is nothing but your cosec theta by 2 and a b is nothing but your d by 2 so this a d will become d by 2 cosec theta by 2 okay now see here we are considering the second triangle what i have already uh, told you the triangle d e f triangle d e f from this construction i have already explained you this angle will be your 90 minus theta by 2 okay this angle is your 90 minus theta by 2 this angle is theta by 2 this angle is 90 degree okay so we are considering this d e f here okay see here this angle uh, sorry this triangle d e f we are considering the angle d e f is 90 degree this angle f uh, sorry e f d is your theta by 2 okay see here the triangle d e f angle d e f is 90 angle d f e d f e is your theta by 2 d e is your p by 2 p by 2 is nothing but half of pitch d e is half of pitch how it is half of pitch we have already seen in the geometric construction okay now see here e f what is e f here if you see this distance ef this ef is nothing but the height of thread so it is capital h okay so ef is your capital h so if you consider the tan of theta by 2 tan of this angle so it is this side divided by this side okay fd is your hypotenuse so don't uh, that won't be considered this side divided by this side is your tan okay so tan theta by 2 is de divided by ef de divided by ef de is your p by 2 and ef is h so what will be the value of h capital h is equal to this p by 2 gets multiplied by how uh, 1 upon tan theta by 2 okay 1 upon tan theta by 2 so capital h will become p by 2 cot theta by 2 okay and now see here the construction c if you see the construction this length c d this length c d is half of your h this length c d is your half of the height of thread so this c d will be equal to h by 2 c d is h by 2 so the CD will be equal to P by 4 cot theta by 2 because H is P by 2 cot theta by 2. So CD is P by 4 cot theta by 2. Now therefore small h. What is small h? See here. Small h is nothing but the distance from the center of wire to the effective diameter. Okay. The distance between center of wire and effective diameter is nothing but h okay so we will be calculating this distance h small h is nothing but ad minus cd see here this is your complete ad okay we want this distance ac ac is your h okay so 
एच इज इक्वल टू ए डी माइनस माइनस सी डी ओके ए डी माइनस सी डी ओके वी ऑलरेडी गॉट ए डी एंड वी ऑलरेडी गॉट सी डी सो विथ ए डी एंड सी डी वी विल बी गेटिंग द फॉर्मूला फॉर एच ओके वॉट इज फॉर्मूला फॉर एच इट इज डी बाय टू कॉसेक थीटा बाय टू वाई बिकॉज ए डी सी आर ए डी वॉज डी बाय टू कॉसेक थीटा बाय टू इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन एंड वी ऑलरेडी गॉट सी डी पी बाय फोर कॉट थीटा बाय टू इन इक्वेशन नंबर टू सो इट इज स्मॉल एच इज इक्वल टू डी बाय टू कॉसेक थीटा बाय टू ओके डी बाय टू कॉसेक थीटा बाय टू माइनस p by 4 cot theta by 2 okay so distance over wire we already calculated this distance okay we can practically measure this distance that is over wire diameter what is over wire diameter we have seen in detail in two wire method okay it is the largest diameter which is measured over the wires okay this is the practically diameter we are going to measure o uh, in the practical session okay now see here capital m is equal to e plus 2h plus 2r what is this e plus 2h 2r see here this capital m this is your capital m capital m is the over wire diameter this diameter okay okay now see here what is e e is this okay from e is effective diameter to the center of wire okay there is some distance this distance is say h small h okay so twice of h will be there over the diameter okay in effective diameter twice of h uh, will be added okay and twice of radius why twice of radius because from this center to over wire diameter there is half uh, there is radius there is another radius so two times of radius that is nothing but once uh, one time of diameter of wire will be added okay so e is equal to 2h plus 2r m is equal to e plus 2h plus 2r okay now what is e e is equal to m minus 2h minus d d is nothing but 2r okay already we have seen m is equal to e plus 2h plus 2r okay so this will be the e will be m minus 2h minus 2r okay so e is equal to e is nothing but your effective diameter is equal to m is your over wire diameter minus twice of this d by 2 cosec theta by 2 minus p by 4 cot theta by 2 this is the expression for h minus d d is nothing but your diameter of wire see here now we are simplifying this equation so this will be e is equal to m minus d cosec theta by 2 plus p by 2 cot theta by 2 minus d therefore e is equal to m plus p by 2 cot theta by 2 minus d cosec theta by 2 plus 1 we have taken this d common out okay so this will become cosec theta by 2 plus 1 okay so your this is your final expression for effective diameter measurement okay Uh, as this expression this derivation comes for 10 marks sometimes they ask what will be the values for with word thread and uh, metric thread what will be the values uh, difference between the values of with word thread and metric thread so we can calculate it like this for with word thread we will be taking the thread angle standard thread angle that is 55 degree from the bis standard okay with word thread is a british standard thread okay and the uh, height of thread is 0.64 times of the pitch so e will become d minus 0.64 times of the pitch d is nothing but your major diameter of thread 
okay so d minus 0.64 times of pitch is your effective diameter theoretically and m will be equal to d plus 3.1657 times of d minus 1.605 times of p by getting the value of m or by getting the value of d we can calculate the value of e okay now for metric thread also uh, the theta metric thread is your is thread okay metric standard thread that is is thread that is uh, theta is equal to 60 degree and h is equal to 0 0.6495 times of pitch okay so here the effective diameter will be d minus 0 0.6495 times of pitch and m will become m plus uh, sorry d plus 3d minus 1.5155 times of the pitch okay note here we can measure the value of m practically and then compare with the theoretical values using the formula derived okay so after finding the correct value of m and the value of d is known and then we can easily find the value of e so practically we are going to get this value of m and we know the value of d so with this m and d value we will be getting the value of e so we can directly measure the effective diameter if you know the over wire diameter capital m is nothing but your over wire diameter this is for the three wire method this is one of the very important question for mqe subject okay or uh, in uh, almost all the papers this expression this uh, derivations comes for 10 marks okay